I think we have a really interesting assortment of employees at McKinstry because we are a design, build, operate, maintain company. We have a large professional staff, but we also have 1,200 unionized craftspeople out in the field. So it's a really uh, interesting mix of folks that are both in the professional side as well as in the craftsman side. My name is Heather Helgen and I am a construction services manager. So I've been at McKinstry 10 years and I've progressed kind of a normal pathway from a construction management degree to a project engineer, a project manager, and now I'm managing the group. I knew that I wanted to go to college and I knew that I wanted to stay local. I ended up getting an internship um, in a local firm to kind of see if I liked the industry and really enjoyed that summer internship and ended up then looking into the construction management department from there. My name is Brandon Chihara. I am the shop project manager for McKinstry. I've been here for one year. I had some knowledge of the uh, industry, but not a whole lot. I had a summer internship uh, during my junior year in college and uh, loved it since. Uh, the apprenticeship for sheet metal consists of five years of an apprenticeship. The majority of it is hands-on. I use a lot of math <laughs> in sheet metal. It's the little things that people don't realize that they're using. There's a lot of decimals, a lot of fractions. It is pretty basic math, but there is a lot of math. You know, some of the skill sets to become career ready are really being able to communicate well with others, especially in the construction industry. It's a lot of verbal communication. I think to be a good project manager, it's in time management, communication, and I think a lot of it is experienced in college with all the classes and all the studies and all the tests you need to prepare for. I think for a high school student, it's really important to know what makes you happy now. Whether it's working with your hands, whether it's change of pace every single day, and look at those options before saying, you know, this is what I want to do. You have to be self-motivated to want to go to your classes and want to do well in your classes. It's getting some experience working in an industry that you may want to get into later in life. I mean, the advice I like to give kids is to think of some things they really want to do that they have some excitement about and understand what it takes to be great at it and what kinds of foundation you need to have to be competitive to fill those positions. The sooner kids can understand that they can do it and they can achieve it and they find something that's exciting, the sooner they'll be driving their own educational progress.